Welcome to Mishnah study, Masachet Bikurim, Perek Aleph, Mishnah He. Over in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss who a convert can marry. So if you think we're going to discuss the edict in this Mishnah, I hate to burst the bubble, we're not. We're going to speak about other instances, other cases where a convert can or cannot marry into the Jewish nation. Right? It's going to be an interesting Mishnah. The Bidi Ezeb ben Yaakov Omer. Right? Comes to Bidi Ezeb ben Yaakov, he says, Ha'isha bat kelim. A woman who's the daughter of two converts. Her mom's a convert and her dad's a convert. Lot kehuna. Right? She's allowed to marry any Jew except for someone who is a Kohen. It's interesting, right? I mean, we keep the Kohanim on a higher uh, level. And therefore, this woman, right, who was the daughter of two converts, right? She doesn't have a mom or dad who has a, you know, no break or you know lineage um, tracing back, you know, uh, as, 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 a, as a Jew. So therefore, she's not allowed to marry a kohen. Israel until she has her mom from Israel. Right? The way that Rambam explains this is either one, a mom or dad from Israel, then she's allowed to marry uh, into the kihuna. Right? She needs. One of the two. This applies to a convert and also an Evan Mishukharat, right? A slave who's let's do set free, who's now also part of the Jewish community. Right? This goes even 10 generations. Meaning, if a you know, a, you know, the, the daughter of converts married another family of you know, daughter of two convert, a son of two converts, right? So those kids are both, you know, converts. And if they keep on doing that. And there's not not one parent who is from Israel, then they're not allowed to marry into the Kiruna, right? Into Kohen specifically. Uh, this is actually this is the opinion of Rabbi Yisrael Yaakov only, who argues on this. Rabbi Yosef. So then the Gemara they actually quote this, they bring this down. Rabbi Yosef argues. And what does Rabbi Yosef say? That the, uh, the if it's a daughter, right, of two converts, then he also agrees that. They can, she can marry into the kiuna, but he, he says that, that that person is allowed to marry into the kiuna. Who's the only person who's not allowed to marry to a kohen? He says a convert herself cannot marry a kohen, right? So everyone agrees that a convert herself shouldn't marry into the kiuna. The Bidez of Yaakov comes and extends this. Even a daughter of two converts shouldn't marry into the kiuna. Now, what's the halacha? Halacha is... Like the B Eliezer ben Yaakov the Hatechila, that's what Rambam posek, right? If someone comes, right, a convert comes and says, "Should I marry a kohen?" right, or even the daughter of two converts comes and asks, "Should I marry a kohen?" We tell her no, she shouldn't. If she does, then she stays married, right? And the kids are total kohanim; they can even become a kohen gadol, right? There's no, uh, there's no, there's no penalty whatsoever. But the Hatechila, we tell them. Uh, we, you know, we, we tell them not to. That's how Haram Bam is posik the halakha until, right, until either the mom or dad uh, are, you know, come from a, from a Jewish lineage and then we even say the Chatechilab again. Ha'apotropim, continuing on the Mishnah, ha'apotropim, right, these are the uh, the people who are caretakers who are watching over the Atomim, watching over the orphans, right, they watch over their estate. Ha'eved, right, slave, shaliach, a, a regular messenger. Ba'isha, a woman, v'tumtum, v'adrigonos, Tumtum is someone who has both, doesn't have any signs of zikrut or nikrut, right? Doesn't have signs of male or female. Or Andrigonus. Andrigonus is a hermaphrodite. He, he, they have signs right, of a man and a woman. Right? This one person. Mevi'im elokorim. All these people, mevi'im, they can bring, right? They can go ahead and bring the bikurim, but they can't recite. She'enam yechulim omana, shinatata li adunai. They can't say the land that Hashem gave me. Why? Because Eretz Yisrael wasn't giving to, they're giving to them as a nahala. Right, when Yeshua gave out the land, right, he didn't wasn't mehalik the aretz to these people. You needed to be a zachar, right? You needed to be a Jew who was a male who received a portion, a territory, right? As you know, when Yeshua gives it out, that's who received those territories, right? And these are the people who were given land, and that's the people who could say, Asher natata li Hashem, because it's talking about the land that Hashem gave us, and these are the fruits from this land. So these people, they're allowed to bring the kurim, but they can't recite these pesukim, right? Because it would be it wouldn't make sense.